moved on from traffic. We're now jumping into the tech world. And typically, we do some fun stuff in the, here in the smartphone zone. But today, we are uh, taking a look at the serious side when it comes to cell phone radiation. Just how much is too much? And could cell phones be linked to breast cancer in younger women? Dr. Deborah Davis is the founder of the Environmental Health Trust and author of Disconnect, the truth about cell phone radiation, what the industry is doing to hide it, and how to protect your family. And she joins us here live this morning in studio. Good morning to you, Dr. Davis. Good morning, Lauren. Uh, I want to talk first about the new research with breast cancer and cell phones. Well, this is, these are preliminary reports, but we thought they were sufficiently important that we put them on our website at environmentalhealthtrust.org. There are several young women whose doctors have contacted us who kept their cell phones in their bra. Normally, breast cancer occurs in the upper outer quadrant. These women all have breast tumors right where they kept their cell phone. And it's sufficiently unusual that their oncologists are working with us to report this to the public. You know, and I think at first people hear a cell phone in your bra, that's crazy, but I'll admit I've actually done this because going jogging, I wanted to, you know, be able to hear the music from my cell phone. I didn't have pockets and I've totally done this myself before. So I bet there are people out there who know what we're talking about There's here. There's even a foolish device called a Joey bra, which is a very bad idea. Oh, which you actually can put the phone in? Absolutely designed for that purpose. And they don't understand that a cell phone is a two-way microwave radio. Phones are not approved to be held directly on the body. In fact, the fine print warnings tell you keep it five-eighths of an inch or one inch away from the body. So putting it into the chest and the breast where there's all fat and fluid is absolutely a bad idea. Okay. And then the other thing is young children. Mm -hmm. um, you've got, we've got a little prop here. We've talked about this before. This is the Fisher-Price um, device to protect the phone. Yes, it's designed, as it says there, to protect the phone from the baby. It protects the device from the dribbles and drool of the child, and you can put an actual phone in there. Well, this is a bad idea on many accounts, and in fact, the American Academy of Pediatrics has recently sent a letter to the FCC urging that standards be revised because when phones were first approved, they were approved for big old guys and never designed for infants and toddlers. I was going to say, is it, is it worse for children? Well, of course it's going to be. The developing brain is supposed to be protected. That's why we put our children in uh, seat belts and bike helmets and all these things you do to protect the developing brain, we certainly need to protect their brains from microwave radiation. So the Government Accountability Office is coming out with a new report this month. Um, what do you expect from that, and, and where do you think that we're falling short with keeping people informed about well, the, the risks? Well, the fact is standards for cell phones were set in the 20th century. This has become a 21st century device. The rap most rapidly growing users of cell phones today are children and teenagers, and very, very young children whose parents are not at all aware that cell phones are emitting microwave radiation. They can be useful learning tools in a limited way, but pediatricians and developmental neurologists are really warning that we've got to be very careful about how we use these devices. They should be used as part of an overall program, but children have to learn how to write. Right now we have an epidemic of boys who can't write because they go right to typing, yeah, right. and they never learn eye-hand coordination and the fine motor skills that are needed for writing. Well, while we're waiting for some of these uh, regulations or recommendations to come into place, there are things we can do to protect ourselves. So I wanted to throw up some uh, a full screen of some tips really quickly. Of course, keep the phone away from your body as much right. as you can. You want to go hands-free uh, and all of that. Also, of course, as we just said, it's not a toy. Another thing, keep the phone fully charged. You mentioned right. that? When the, when the phone is actually weak, it, needs, it puts out more energy into you, and, and when the signal is weak, it, it actually drains faster. That's why you, when, when you're in a weak signal area, turn your phone off because it's using more energy and it's draining itself faster and half of the radiation gets into you if you have it in your pocket. Phones are never tested in the pocket. That's why it's actually fine print warnings again tell you not to do that. Samsung in the Convoy 2 phone now says ch phones are not a toy and should not be used by children. And, and we got just a few seconds here, but I just wanted to mention, lastly, we said consider your cover. You yes. brought in this cover. You said this is actually a better cover to be used. This is the Pong case, and it will substantially deflect radiation. And using that, as you see there, that's my phone with that uh, headset, really does substantially reduce your radiation. But the important thing to do is to understand that distance is your friend. And phones should not be kept for hours a day and months a year and thousands of minutes in a lifetime on the body. That's where we're starting to see, unfortunately, increases in brain cancer and other diseases. And we don't want to wait, like we did with tobacco, for a massive epidemic before right. taking precautions because everyone's using phones nowadays. Well, I think the bottom line is better safe than sorry. Well said. We are going to link to all the information on your website, Dr. Deborah Davis. Thank you so much for coming in. Really good information this morning. Thank you, Lauren. I appreciate it. Okay, back to you guys. The Fox 5 Weather App.
Look 10 days ahead or hour by hour. View today's video forecast and radar that can pinpoint your neighborhood free at your app store or Android market.